Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad designer shoutout. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting from my website because it is a handy place. If you ever need to reach out to me, there is a sweet built in messaging tool. You can click this button, fill your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord because it is an amazing place to talk everything Tinkercad. Alrighty friends, this is from Giga Rider and it is amazing. He has taken time to give us some notes, so let's run through them. So this is the Quetzalcoatlus northropi, or the largest animal to ever fly. This depiction has rather strange proportions. I have come to think of it as a genetic mutation or an abnormality. Despite its bulkier build, the ground-based lifestyle these animals held means an animal with this mutation would likely live to adulthood. Despite this, it would likely live to shorter life due to health issues and may not be capable of reproducing. My interpretation's coloration is based on that of the Chinese pond heron. Note its crimson neck is likely used for display to females. Standing height of 6.4 meters or approximately 21 feet, the real animal was estimated to have a height of 36 to 39 feet. This is the first model given a nose and proper mouth, my second also given proper eyes. Note the lack of a tail, this is mostly for simplicity's sake, but the tail was also likely vestigial and served little function. Interesting. It has a 18.1 meter or 59 foot wingspan. The real animal is estimated to have approximately a 35 foot wingspan. I'm going to shut off these notes so we can just appreciate it from all these different angles. Let's zoom in on the head and check that out. Oh my gosh, such cool stuff. Giga Rider, this is absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for taking time to share. Friends, if you ever make something awesome, you want to share it with me. Remember, it is so simple. Click this icon, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options don't work for you, don't forget there is also the website hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with so many amazing lessons. And then also down at the bottom is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add some information, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, while you're out here, make sure you check out the Designer Showcase. It has so many amazing Tinkercad user profiles. When you're out here, make sure you click on these profiles. And then I like to switch to what their latest creations are and find something you think is absolutely amazing and give them feedback for their super cool creations. Originally unoriginal, that is awesome. I do also want to note there is the Tinkercad Design Nuclear Reactor. It is a great way to get reactions on your designs. You can see here there's a tutorial. This is how you get to everybody else's design. And if you're interested in a shout out, this tutorial shows you all about that as well. Finally though, friends, I want to say thanks again to Giga Rider. Oh my gosh awesome design and thank you so much for sharing with us friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day